We all want to give up compromise and we all want to experience integrity, having the integrity of, of heart and mind, having the integrity deep within us so we feel completely connected with everyone and everything. And it's striking to me how in this world that we're not really aware of the extent of the compromise, you know, in our words, in our actions, in our thoughts, in our emotions, there's an enormous amount of compromise in the split mind. And I think it comes down to what Jesus said in the, the Bible. He said, no man can serve two masters. And we, we know from studying the Course, we know what he's talking about. You can't really serve love and fear. If, if you try to serve love and fear, you're going to find your mind is like a contradiction. No wonder it seems psychotic and it's split from reality. No wonder it seems schizophrenic and it's listening to multiple voices, not just inside but on the screen <laughs> every day in daily life. No wonder it seems to get depressed. No wonder it, it seems like it's wandering lost in the dark, wondering, I don't know how I got here but this isn't my home. This split feeling, this divisive feeling, doesn't feel natural. There's something in us that knows that it's not natural and yet we seem to have lost sight of the escape hatch. We seem to be wandering in a vast place where we don't know where the escape hatch is or like in the Truman Show we've lost track of the exit door. <laughs> it's, it's disguised. We can't see it. We can't find it. So, uh, you know, in spiritual circles, people are saying, hey, you want to come along? You know, I've got a booth and maybe you could share your books and come, and come to a festival. And I say, well, what's, what's the name of the festival? And they say, well, it's a mind-body-spirit festival. I said, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I've never heard of such a ridiculous thing. Well, you know, we're all about integrating the mind, body, and spirit. But they can't be integrated. They can't. They can't. They say, oh, it's very holistic. Doesn't sound holistic to me. Jesus says, in the Bible, Jesus says, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, that which is born of the spirit is spirit. In A Course in Miracles, Jesus says, you you perceive the flesh or, there's the key word, or you recognize the spirit. He says in the Course, what do you want? Freedom of the body or freedom of the mind because both you cannot have. You can tell where this is going. He says at one point in the Course, if you are a body your mind is gone from your self-concept and if you are a mind, your body is gone from your self-concept. You get where I'm going with this? It's an either-or. And even these mind, body, spirit festivals, well we know that the body's an illusion because the ego made it up. God did not create the body. God does not create the perishable. God is eternal and God creates e eternally. That's what creation is. That's what spirit is. The body is an invention, a fictitious invention of this puff of nothingness called ego. And then as far as mind, what does Jesus actually have to say about mind? Well, he's got a lot of things to say about it in the Course, but in the clarification of terms, Jesus says, mind is the activating agent of spirit. Oh, is that helpful? That must mean that the only purpose the mind serves is as a conversion factor to recognize what? That you're spirit, that you're pure spirit, that you're eternal. The activating agent of spirit. That's why Jesus can talk about a split mind. He can talk about divine mind, but when he starts talking about divine mind or the mind of God, he's actually speaking of spirit. So what I'm pointing at here is the body and the spirit 
aren't, reconcil they aren't reconcilable at all. You can't be both. You have to be one or the other. And this is the purpose of A Course in Miracles. It's the Holy Spirit working with your mind, with the mind, to convince it of the reality of spirit. Isn't, doesn't that make intuitive sense to see your I amness, your spirit, your eternal nature is the only purpose of it. And there's stepping stones about using your mind to be in your right mind instead of your wrong mind, to be miracle minded instead of judging in grievances, and then ultimately to let go of the scaffolding, so to speak, and be lifted up into I amness, into spirit, the spirit that I am. <laughs>